check out my YouTube channel for some more chess merit badge videos. So we're casting the figures that I got from Prince August and the Battle of the Alamo set for the chess merit badge. So we're putting talcum powder over the molds so that the pewter doesn't stick. It's now ready to align the guides. These boards prevent you from getting burnt after molding the figures because the rubber gets very hot. We're going to put the clamps on. You can use the supplied clamps to keep the mold together. It was really hard to cut the pewter, so we used 10 snips to do the job for us. This 5-star pewter we got from Prince August, the link is found in the description below. Or you can find any tool that works best for you. Pewter melts at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. We used to scale it over an open flame on medium heat. When it becomes molten, you're ready to pour. So you want to push the slag to one side of it because that's the impurities. And you want to get it away from the good metal. It's now ready to pour the pewter. So you want to tap the mold so when you pour the pewter in, air bubbles will come up. Be careful while moving the pewter, it is extremely hot. Oh. Sorry. Pour, pour, pour. Make sure to fill it to the rim so the weight forces the pewter into the mold. The talcum powder will also help the air bubbles escape. Davy Crockett and as the, I made some videos on Davy Crockett State Park and the Alamo where Davy Crockett was born and where he was sadly killed. If you guys want to go check out them, it's on Cub Scout Eric Adventures. So now, let's check them out. If you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll get notifications on the new videos I upload. You should allow the figures to cool for about two minutes before you open them up. These figures look so nice and so detailed. I can't believe they just came from a piece of metal. So Davy Crockett didn't turn out so well, so we melted him and we're gonna redo him. The great thing about casting is if you mess up, you can just restart over. It doesn't matter if it's painted or not. Attempt two. If you touch something really fast, you won't get burned. So that way you can tell if it's hot. As you can see, sometimes they don't really turn out as well. So to fix that problem, all you have to do is melt them down. Goodbye, soldier. It was an honor serving with you. As you can see, the figure with the small rimmed hat, we named him George. He wasn't perfect, but we had to keep him. So you see how the queen grew with this? Well... This came included with the packet, and so we're able to just trim that right off. Once you finish cleaning her up, now you're ready to take off her base. You can push the base piece that you cut off back into the pewter, and you can make another figure with it. You can use the pry tool and the stirring tool to remove the figure from his mold. Now what you have to do is you want to grab a figure that was just came from um, molding, and then you want to grab use this little brush and just go over with it. It's a fine little brush. And it will dust them up to look like this.
I just wanted to say the horse came out really good in some of the other figures. Some of the figures had unique flaws. My entire family even got to cast their own figure. Stay tuned to where I show you how to antique your figures. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. So this is about the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, please subscribe, and also please share. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!